Uh, but, but I wanted to just take a couple of minutes and focus on one issue, which is the impact of Justice Scalia's passing just over a week ago. Uh, as everyone here knows, Justice Scalia was a lion of the law. Uh, he was someone I, I was privileged to know for 20 years, and uh, I was at his funeral just this past weekend. The vacuum that is left by Justice Scalia's passing cannot be overstated, and it really underscores the stakes of this next election. We are not just focusing on one branch of government, we're focusing on two. Because this Supreme Court, we are one liberal justice away from losing our fundamental rights. You know, as many of you know, before I was in the Senate, I was the Solicitor General of Texas, which is the chief lawyer for the state in front of the U.S. Supreme Court, and most of my professional career has been litigating cases before the U.S. Supreme Court. So, for example, we defended the Ten Commandments monument that stands on the state capitol grounds in Texas. We went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court, and we won 5-4. By four. We are one liberal justice away from the Supreme Court ordering Ten Commandments monuments to be torn down in state houses and courthouses and public parks all over this country. We brought together a coalition of states before the U.S. Supreme Court defending the federal ban on partial birth abortion, and we won 5-4. Once again, 5-4. We are one liberal justice away from the Supreme Court striking down every state and federal restriction on abortions and mandating unlimited abortion on demand up till the moment of delivery, partial birth with taxpayer funding and no parental notification. One justice away from that. You know, the most significant majority opinion that Justice Scalia authored in his tenure was Heller versus District of Columbia. Now, I'm very familiar with Heller because I represented 31 states in the Heller case defending the Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. And we won 5-4. Once again, 5-4, if you notice a pattern. We are one liberal justice away from the Supreme Court erasing the Second Amendment from the Bill of Rights. Now, some might say, well, well, isn't that an exaggeration? I mean, erasing that, that, that seems a bit much. The position of the four dissenters in Heller was not that some gun control provisions are acceptable sometimes. Rather, the position of the four dissenters was that the Second Amendment does not protect any individual right to keep and bear arms whatsoever. That it only protects a, quote, collective right of the militia which is fancy lawyer speak for a non-existent right. What it would mean is that the government could make it a criminal offense for every person in this room to own a firearm. And none of us would have any individual right to challenge that under the Second Amendment in court. The Second Amendment effectively goes away. We're one justice away. Nobody in the history of our country has ever grown a backbone after arriving at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Doesn't work that way. And I give you my solemn commitment that if I'm elected president, that I will invest every ounce of political capital to nominate and confirm principled constitutionalists to the U.S. Supreme Court who will vigorously protect the Bill of Rights for my children and for yours.